my name is Abby and welcome to my July TBR. So today we are going to be talking about um, I think 10-ish books that I am wanting to read this month. Um, I've got some books with me, I've got some new releases, and of course I've got my TBR jar. So between all of those I've got quite a few books we're going to be talking about so let's go ahead and get on into it. So really quickly we are going to go ahead and start with the two books that already came out this past June that I have not had a chance to read yet or actually pick up. So I'm hoping to do, do so soon, but I want to go ahead and mention those first. Um, so the first one being My Plain Jane by Cynthia Han, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. This is kind of like the companionship novel, second book in the My Lady Janie's series. The first one being My Lady Jane and this one being My Plain Jane. This one is going to be all about Jane Eyre. Um, I've been hearing nothing but amazing things about this book now that it's out. I'm really excited to pick it up. So this is definitely something that I'm going to hopefully be nabbing and grabbing for myself uh, when I go to work later this week. We will see what happens though. I will keep you guys updated on my in my reading vlogs while I do. Um, but this is just again supposed to be another hilariously fantasy inspired ish book <laughs> about the three from the three ladies all about Jane Eyre can't wait to read it. So the next book that I want to pick up already came out on the 26th as well and that is A Thousand Beginnings and A Thousand Endings. This is an anthology and I really don't know too much about it to be completely honest. I don't know who all is in it. I know I'm the worst. I've just been hearing really good things about it so I am going to be taking a closer look at it once I actually see it in the bookstore. I'm going to read some of the synopsis. I'm going to, is that the correct way to say that? I don't know. I'm going to look at the authors. I'm going to see if it is something that really works for me. I've just been really enjoying anthologies, so I'm definitely wanting to go ahead and pick it up and see for myself if I'm going to like it. All right, and then there are two books that are coming out in July that I really want to pick up. One of them, though, is literally coming out on the 31st, so I'm definitely not going to be able to read it in July. It's going to be more of an August read, but I'm still going to mention it. Uh, the one that's coming out on the 10th, though, which is one that I really want to read, is Bright We Burn by Kirsten White. This is the third and final book in her And I Darken trilogy. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to read this book. Um, this this is a series that I have really been enjoying. This is a gender-bent Vlad the Impaler historical fiction series and it's just so good. I just need to see the ending through. I need to learn what's going to happen to my babies and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. I don't know if I'm going to be reading it right on the 10th but it's going to be probably very soon after and I just... <sighs> And then the one that's coming out on the 31st is Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. I've just been hearing a lot of really cool things about this book. It's supposed to be another siren read. I've been really into sirens and mermaids recently. I've read quite a few of them from To Kill a Kingdom and then the Daughter of the Pirate King duology. I just, I've been really liking them recently. They're just really fun. So this is one that I'm definitely wanting to pick up, learn more about. But again, since it's coming out literally on the last day of July, it's definitely more of an August read but I just wanted to mention it. So now we're going to go ahead and talk about the four books that I have with me here that I want to read and then we will do the whole pick four from here and then try my hardest to read at least two of them. You know that's kind of what I like to do. The two of them that I have here are ones that I meant to read last month and it just didn't happen but that's not going to deter me. I really want to read these books. Uh, and the first one is the third book of the Trials of Apollo series by Rick Riordan. The the Burning Maze. This book came out forever ago it feels like and I still haven't read it. I think this book came out in what May? Something like that and I'm just a failure. I, I know I'm eventually gonna read this book. I have read all of his other books. They're right up there. I love them. They're fantastic. I'm gonna read this I just I don't know when so hopefully this will be the month though. And then the next one is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. This is the book that I wound up picking out of my TBR jar last month and I just didn't have a really good reading month at all last month so I don't think I read any of my TBR jar picks. Oh no 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 I read A Way to Feathers so I wound up reading one of them I think. 
I don't even remember um, but definitely am wanting to read this one I just keep putting it off between this Salt to the Sea and the Book Thief those are three really really big historical fiction books that I have on my shelves that I just haven't picked up and read yet and I really need to so I hopefully will soon but this is the one that I'm focusing on for this month it needs to happen. All right, and then the next two books that I'm and that I am talking about are two books that I am wanting to read to complete the reading necessary to finish my OWL. So this is the month-long readathon that I started on the 13th of June. So I have until the 13th of July to get these done. I think it's definitely doable, but these so these are definitely going to be the two that I will be starting. Um, so the first one is Fallen Kingdom by Morgan Rhodes. This is the first book in a really really big high fantasy series which is kind of daunting to be starting this series right now but it's fine. So this book I am reading to complete my charms owl and this is to read a fantasy book. Um, so this one kind of focuses on four different characters. On the back all it says is princess, rebel, sorceress, and heir. So there are four characters that are all kind of on different paths in their life and this book is just kind of what happens when all four of their paths kind of intertwine. And on the very, on the very back again it says it's the eve of the war choose your side. So I've heard amazing things about this series. I think it's going to be great and I really do want to get into it. So I'm going to very soon considering I do have to have this book done by the 13th. And then the next one that I'm going ahead and picking up is The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw. The whole reason why I'm picking this book up is because this book is surrounded by witches. So this book talks about um, there are three sisters called the Swan Sisters. They were born in 1822. They wound up being, I think, burned at the stake or at least killed by this town. And they kind of set a curse on this town saying that in the, every few years something, um, a curse happens where they wound up, while their spirits wound up taking over the bodies of females and wind up drowning boys in the lake. It's like something along those lines and the reason why I picked this book is I picked it to go with my potions owl um, which reads that I need to read a book about or with alchemy. There's a very good chance there's not going to be a lot of alchemy in this book but kind of in my mind alchemy can be this whole thing of like magic, potions, all that kind of stuff and I'm just gonna it's gonna be a very loose interpretation but because there's witches in here I'm assuming that there's going to be some type of witchcraft slash hopefully at least one potion or two if I can find at least one potion I will consider this a success so we'll see what happens but I'm gonna count this because I genuinely do not know if I have any other books that have potions in them any of these could and I have no idea but I really want to read this so um, it's, I'm going with it. So, right, so then now we're going to go ahead and just pick four books out of my TBR jar. And I'm just going to try my best to read at least two of them. If I can get to all four, that is fantastic. Um, we will see what happens though. So first one is A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallero. All right, let me grab that. That is this book right here. This is actually the first book and I think a trilogy? Maybe, I know three are out. There's a good chance that a fourth one might be coming out or it may just be three. But this book focuses on like the great, 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 great granddaughters of Holmes and Watson and, um, and it's just them going and like solving mysteries and I kind of really wanted it to be like them falling in love with each other but I don't think that's the case so boo to that but I've had this book on my shelf for a while so and it is rather short so I bet I could go ahead and get through this book um, pretty well. So the next book that I am going to possibly read is Wind Witch by Susan Dennard, which means I'm going to wind up picking the first one, which is, I think Truth Witch is the first one, right? Yes. So that is Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. Oy vey. Big fantasy series. Okay. So this is the next one. I actually remember I tried reading like the first like two chapters in this book series and just couldn't get into it at one point. So I put it back down and told myself that I'd wind up picking it back up later and just like never picked it back up. But I've heard really, really good things about this series, so I am definitely wanting to give it a shot. Um, this one is about the fact that there's different types of magic, different types of witches. Um, so, and this one focuses on 
a truth witch. And that's really all I know. I'm sorry. I should know more, but I don't. All right. Next book. The next one that I might possibly read is... The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. So that is this beauty right here. This one I don't really know much about either. Wow, I'm horrible. This one's about 17 year old Alice and her and her mother have been spending most of their life on the road. Um, then her grandmother, who's a reclusive author, she dies and her mother then gets stolen away. So Alice then has to go on an adventure to try to figure out what happened. Cool. Yes, I do know how to read synopsis, I. Yes, I do know how to read a synopsis, go me. Don't know much about it, not sure if this is gonna be one of the ones I wind up reading this month, but it's on the list just in case. All right, and then the last book that I'm going to be reading this month, and honestly, like, my entire thing could change because I know that there's also some books I'm thinking about the fact that I want to read on Scribd. I don't know. I'm a mess. Ugh. So actually, what I'm going to do for this one is, this one is Poor Unfortunate Soul by Serena Valentine. So let me go ahead and grab actually like all three of them. So Poor Unfortunate Soul is this one right here. And I actually do have the, th the, the three first ones. I think there's actually like two more or one out and one more coming out. So I do eventually want to get all of these and collect all of them. But just the fact that I haven't read the first three means I really shouldn't buy the other two right now. But we'll see what happens. So what I might actually do is since these are so short and the font of these is like really big you might probably can't see that because of how but like the font is really big too so I imagine I'll be able to fly through these I might actually go ahead and put all three of them on and then just try to sit down one afternoon and just like bulldoze through all three of them so yeah got these cool the all right guys though so that is going to be it for this video I hope that you enjoyed please let me know down in the comments below if you have read any of these books what your thoughts are please though no spoilers I do not want to be spoiled before even getting into these uh, please also make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as well as hitting the subscribe box down below if you would like to become a part of this family as well as hitting the notification bell beside it that lets you know when I make new videos because apparently hitting the subscribe button is not enough anymore and again y'all thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Goodbye.